As we get started in Blender, the first thing that I want to do is to give you a quick tour of the interface. Blender's interface, by default, is broken up into four main sections. The most prominently is the 3D viewport, here in the center. Then at the top right, we have the outliner view, which gives us the hierarchical view of all of our scenes and the objects within those scenes. Below that, we have the properties panel, which has everything from our render properties, to our modifiers, to our shaders, to the particle systems and physics systems. At the bottom of the screen, we have the timeline for animation. And then two other things that I also want to show you that are actually a part of the 3D viewport are the collapsible panels on the left and the right. Now, by default, you only see the one on the left. And this is our toolbar that shows the tools based on the current mode that we are in. So all these tools are context sensitive. Depending on the mode, you'll see a different set of tools here. And this panel is collapsible either by just left click and dragging on the edge until it collapses and then you can bring it back by clicking the plus, or by just pressing T over the viewport, you can toggle the panel open or closed. The other panel, similar to this, that's on the other side of the viewport, is the viewport properties panel, and this can be brought up by clicking the plus sign and closed in the same way by just dragging it in, or by pressing the N key on your keyboard. And this shows everything from the position of your currently selected objects, the grease pencil, which is a tool that we'll talk about a little bit later, our view settings, 3D cursor, display settings, etc. So these two panels you use quite often and are a part of the actual 3D viewport, but then each one of these other sections are actually different windows that we can actually customize later down the road if we choose to. And one actually small note is that this top header is also another window. So technically my previous statement about the four sections was wrong. It's actually five sections, but since this is much more of a menu bar, I didn't want to mention it just yet. But we'll talk a little bit more about customizing these sections in one of the future videos.